Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to get rid of these nasty freezing errors with VLC media player. The problem with, the, with these freezes are that even when you close the window or even if you close the task via the task manager, the problem still sits on the window system and it doesn't work usually properly anymore. You really have to restart to get rid of the aftermath of these problems so it's better to avoid them how can we avoid these freezes there are a couple of things which can uh, adjust here in the tools we have the preferences we can go to video and in the video output here we can select instead of automatic when can select we have two possibilities so either we uh, use direct x or we use OpenGL. So these two options you have and uh, based on what I've been reading, the better option is DirectX, but if, if it doesn't solve the problem, you maybe go next time with the OpenGL. So these two options. And after that, of course, it's important to save this setting. Otherwise you will lose the changes then next thing again we go to tools preferences but now we have to go down here on the left side we have this show settings all and then we get much more possibilities here we have the input codec here and then we have to go to the right side and there is an advanced setting yeah you have to really go a little bit down till you find the advanced section and here we have a couple of caches and i highly recommend to set all these cache levels to at least 1000 so originally it is lower i think it was on 300 or something like that increase this 2000 the file cache then the disk cache and also network cache at least to 1000 and then same thing go to save then we come to the last thing it's again tools preferences okay we could have stayed actually there uh, because it is again the all section it is the input codec section and here we have the video codex here we ha have to click on here and go even a little bit down to find this ffmpeg section it's a little bit different than with the old versions and on the right side we have again these settings which we can set and here's the one skip the loop filter for h264 coding and the best thing is i think default is none set it to all that's important here and then we have also the hardware decoding and the hardware decoding i think it's on automatic something else uh, put it on disable so skip uh, h264 to all and hardware decoding to disable of course it could be a little bit slower but it's definitely more stable and then also here go to save and that's it and i would highly recommend to close the vlc and restart again and this seems to be uh yeah this seems to be able to solve this problem for most of the people of course these changes could lead to other problems some people have been reporting like a pink screen so when they invoke the next video instead of having the real video they say they see just a pink screen of course this can be usually this has to do with the video output and instead of using the DirectX, yeah, again, go to open GL and save it. That's the one possibility. But some people have been reporting with the open GL, they don't see the mouse. So if you have the video running and you cannot see the mouse anymore here on top of the uh, player. So uh, it's not a real problem, but it's a little bit annoying. So then, uh, yeah, just reset it again to where it was like to automatic and of course 
uh, save it and if everything doesn't help and you cannot get back to the original settings the thing is then uh, also here in the video settings you can go to reset preferences to original setting i have done this about a week ago and i haven't experienced any kind of freeze errors anymore so it helped me and i hope it will help you too if you have any questions or comments or other solutions please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time